previous work had identified a specific type of mutation in some forms of leukemia and what we call myelodysplastic syndromes, which is a pre-leukemia. And these mutations are called TET2 mutations. And um, work that's been done by other labs in the past had suggested that TET2 itself can be activated by uh, high doses of vitamin C. So we had the idea that maybe a high dose vitamin C might be used as a therapy for some forms of uh, myelodysplastic syndrome and uh, acute myelogenous leukemia, particularly those, uh, those forms that have mutations in this gene called TET2. We have initially taken human cell lines, uh, leukemia cell lines, that uh, carry or that don't carry uh, TET2 mutations, and we just simply added high levels of vitamin C. And we saw that that basically stops the growth. Then we went in the mice and we took stem cells that carry TET2 mutations, and we again saw that if we put them in what we call colony assays, in vitro culture assays, it, it stops the growth. And the last studies was basically to take these mouse cells, transplant them in another mouse, and provide this mouse with um, IV vitamin C. And we saw again that these mice did not develop the disease with the same kinetics and severity as the ones that did not receive the treatment. So we do think this could actually be um, beneficial to all people with leukemia. The way vitamin C works is that it can restore balance in the cells that don't have it based on whatever vitamin C normally works on, but actually it can just increase the, the function of those defective genes in all leukemias. There's actually several follow-up steps that we're already actively engaging on in the study. Um, the first one, and probably the most important, is to immediately try to apply uh, this um, laboratory-based research to, uh, to the clinic. And so uh, Dr. Mahal Abdurhey and Michael Grossbard, who are our uh, hematologists uh, in the Perlmutter Cancer Center, uh, who treat patients with myelodysplastic syndrome, have already written a clinical trial and uh, we're hoping to get that trial open either in the fall or the spring. Um, there's also some follow-up laboratory steps that we want to look at. One is we like to figure out what the best therapy is to combine with vitamin C therapy. We have one idea, which is the PARP inhibitor, and we'll be doing follow-up studies on mouse models of leukemia and also patient-derived xenografts of, uh, of leukemias. Uh, and we also want to just test in an unbiased way what the other uh, possible combination therapies are and hopefully bring those to the clinic in the future.